Hello everybody, it's Rob here. How are you all doing today? Okay, so I got a car in this morning. It's one of my pal's father's car. Um, they are selling it and just wanted a, a quick clean up because it's sat for a couple of years. So dug out a big pile of products that I plan to use and it didn't quite go as I was hoping for. So what I'm going to do is show you the products that I did get to use today. So. I started pre-rinse, eye detail, pre-wash spray, uh, needed to revisit that anyway, used it before, used it again today, um, it's actually a really good product. For the wheels, I went for Blitz Detail and Gecko, this is their gel wheel cleaner, uh, that was really good, it actually drew a lot of dirt out of the tyres as well, which I was very very happy with. Uh, and used with that as well is Blitz Detailing Fallout Remover. Uh, I didn't know what was on the car, what's been done with it, um, anything like that at all, so I was just going in as I would blind really. Okay, uh, so after we've done the wheels, we've gone to the bodywork. So for the snow foam, uh, I went for Invin Invinity. Infinity Wax Power Foam Snow Foam. This stuff is amazing. It doesn't need a lot uh, and it lasts quite a while. And then for the bucket, I used their Wax Off Shampoo. Again, didn't know what was on the car. Thought it'd be best just to try and strip it back a little bit. Once I had done the hand wash, I went back around the car with Monster Shine Tarantula Tarn Glue Remover because there's a lot on this car, it's an X-Taxi, so it wasn't really treated the way that we would do our cars normally, and fallout remover as well. Once that was all done, uh, I did use the Wax Off Shampoo Bucket and, and the Power Foam again, and I used my Claim It, just to uh, paint felt a little bit rough, and I've never really had a car to test it out on like I wanted to, so Give that a go, that actually worked really well. That is the 3M mitt that I've got. Uh, after that, we were done. I have it's here. For the tyres, the Detail Kitchen Red Berry and Licorice Scented Tyre Dressing. That was actually quite nice. And for the glass, Blitz Detail and Optic. Uh, that flashed off really, really quickly. Really, really nice glass cleaner there. And a little bit of protection for it. The car's going up for sale this weekend. Hopefully it won't be about for too long. But we treated a little bit of dual detailing flex. Uh, oh, sorry, dual car care, my apologies. Flex. Um, 5 millilitres into 250 millilitres of water. This stuff's going to last forever. Uh, at that, those kind of dilution ratios. Um, so... Let's get to the next part of the video and uh, we'll get the buckets all set up and then we'll get into cleaning the car. So I'll speak to you all soon. Okay, hello everyone. So, let's get a little walk around of this car. As you can see, um, the car sat for two years. It is a uh, X taxi 126, 130,000 miles on the clock. Um, belongs to my friend's father. Uh, now, the car itself has been sat outside my pal's house for two years and it shows. Now, with it being an ex taxi, uh, it doesn't get the care and attention that we would all give our cars on a, a weekly or day to day basis. Uh, when we're looking through, there is dirt in places I didn't think dirt could get to in cars. Um, along the, I mean, we've got cobwebs, along the top seals are between the glass and the panel work, the dirt's just clogged up in there, and in between the door and the window we have some lovely dirt and some green moss as well. Uh, so, I'm actually quite looking forward to this one, uh, once I saw what kind of state the car was in, knowing that it's not necessarily neglected, but just haven't had the time for it because it's not been getting used. 
Uh, we've got on the door handles as well, we've got some of that lovely green moss as well, some spider webs, uh, and the fuel cap are in there, that's also really, really bad. The wheels, the wheels are actually in okay condition, but the brake dust that's been gathered up on them was quite intense and along the panel gaps as well for the dirt sitting and some more moss. Uh, the roof has some bird droppings that have etched in so badly that they are going to need wet sanded out. Um, the car is up for sale so it wasn't really uh, something we were going to get into. Uh, and the gaps between on the back window and the roof, again, a nice little dirt build up. As you can see there, some beautiful swirl marks left with left from one of some of the previous washes and handprints on the back of the car from either makeup or suntan lotion. There was a lot of tar on this car as well. Um, it's again, it just doesn't go through the same process that we we'll all do to our own vehicles or if you're a detailer or valeter, what you would do for your customers. Uh, some panels had been resprayed, you could tell that the the way that the paint was on it. Uh, but yeah, um, all round, inside it does need another good clean out. Um, that wasn't going by myself, the, the owner's going to do that himself. Uh, but yeah, you can see the handprints there. Now, say the car sat for two years in the sun and it's baked on and I genuinely do not have a clue what this is on the roof. I did try hitting it with some 3-in-1 through the machine polisher and some heavy cut and it just wasn't budging it so again that will be a wet sand job. did get one of my pals who was passing by to pop in, he owns a local business. Shout out to Shire Shine here in Dumbarton, the uh, Big Andy. He even tried some of his cut compounds and it just wasn't touching up. So that's how it came to the decision that it's going to need wet sanded, but again, cars for sale. Right, so here we go, shampoo time. So this is the Infinity Wax Wax Off. Now, it is 100 millilitres of product into your bucket. It's not an everyday wash, shampoo. So, it, yes, it is a lot of product, but it's for a specific reason. Did froth up quite well, uh, plenty of suds, and they actually lasted quite a long time. So I was really happy with that. And I've just got a basic shampoo in for the wheel bucket there. Okay, wheels and tyre time. So, Blitz Detailing Gecko Gel Wheel Cleaner as well as Blitz Detailing Fallout. Now, I've slowed this bit down. I used, uh, not the trigger that came with it, so I just grabbed one off the shelf, and as I was using it, <laughs> the trigger fell right off of the bottle. Uh, so I had to run back to the shed and grab another one. And here we go. So, the Fallout Remover reacted pretty quickly. Um, got plenty on there and the gel, Gecko Gel Wheel Cleaner done an amazing job on the tyres did hit them twice all around the vehicle um, and with the detailing brush and the barrel brush get it all scrubbed out these things came up beautifully catch you in a moment So, pre-wash time. So it's the iDetail Pro pre-wash spray. Uh, diluted that down uh, with what I had left on the bottle, sprayed it on the car and thought it'd be best because it was getting kind of warm at this point, just to go on with the snow foam, which is the Infinity Wax Power Foam. Uh, that was mixed at 100 to 1. And then I went round with a bottle of all-purpose cleaner getting into all those little nooks and crannies trying to get out as much of that moss and dirt out of those bits. I do have to say, this snow foam was amazing. I used next to nothing in the bottle um, and it just kept going. Had to dial it 
way, way back than what I would normally dial for that further back. Um, and it still came out pretty, pretty thick. Okay, time for the hand wash. So, Infinity Wax Wax Off Shampoo. Very sudsy. Very, it just glides over the panels. Very slick, sleek, but you know it's doing its job because you can look, you can feel the difference once you've moved over the panel. I have used one of the other shampoos called Pure. That itself, very, very similar effects uh, without the wax stripping capabilities or the protection stripping capabilities. Uh, all around, a really, really nice shampoo to use. Um, it's not one, so it's not one you'd use every day or every week. Probably once every the blue moon. Okay, so not something I normally put on camera, uh, but when I lifted up the boot when I was looking around the car, um, these were exceptionally bad. So thought I would just give it a little go. Uh, so in there with the all-purpose cleaner and a big detailing brush, just getting all of that dirt away because it was caked on. See. It has sat for two years, so dirt will make its way into places that would normally not be. Uh, so, what I'll do is I'll just leave you as be for a moment, you'll see the final part of this, and then a quick photograph of it after it was done. Okay, so Taran glue remover time. We are using Monster Shine Tarantula. This is a very potent Taran glue remover. Spray on, leave for a few moments, and it just wipes off. I don't know about everybody else, but I do also spray some onto the cloth as well. Okay, so this is the fallout going on. Um, panels are very hot, and it was drying out on me. Um, and then I was, it was just fighting against it. So I got on as much as I could, uh, left it on as long as I possibly could before having to rinse it off uh, as I didn't want to do any damage to the vehicle um, and it wasn't a major amount. Okay, so paintwork was still quite rough so I thought I'd crack out the G3 clay mat um, using the Infinity Wax Wax Off shampoo because there was still plenty of that left in the bucket. Uh, Watched lots of videos, never really tried it out on a car with rough paint as of yet. This was the first time and I've got to say, what a thing. Um, as you're using it, you do, you feel it, you can feel it being rough, then you feel the smoothness starting to come through um, and then just give it a rinse off in the bucket and then back again. So yeah, um, all around, the clay mitt uh, makes it so much quicker and easier. Love it. Okay, time for the LSP, and that is the Dual Car Care Flex. 5 millilitres to 250 milliliters water. Let it sit for a few minutes and rinse off. Well, it's rinsing off. In the background is my pal's van, work van. That's Shire Shine here in Dumbarton. Um, you can get them on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all the usuals. Okay, time for the glass. It is Blitz Detailing Optic for this when I remember to open the bottle. Couple of sprays, don't need a lot, and off and on. Flashed really, really nicely. Um, I was using an Auto Bright um, glass towel, but these things are absolutely huge and they're not, they're good when they're crunched up, um, but flat out, they 
just grab and then uh, I tend to fold mine over and over and over again until you see it there till you get a kind of perfect size and once you've got that perfect size it's actually really good uh, the glass cleaner I say inside and out flashed really really well um, quite a good little glass cleaner very happy with it Okay, tire dressing time and we have the Detail Kitchen Red Berry and Licorice Scented Tire Dressing. Uh, looking back on this video, I believe I may have got a bit of water onto my camera. Uh, so you can't see it very well, but I will put some before and after pictures on. Got to say, a couple of sprays onto the applicator and I've actually done a really good job. Okay, so let's have a look around the car, it's now all being cleaned. There is a nice shine to it from certain angles. They, you can see there, the wheels are nice and clean right into the barrels as well as being dressed. Uh, as I'm moving along, you can see the car, the car is absolutely covered in swirl marks. But, you know what, that's not what we were looking to address today. We were just looking to get it cleaned and make it look as good as it possibly can with basic cleaning to get it all done for going up for sale. Uh, so yeah, now what I was looking at is when you look at the boot you see all the marks and the first thing I think on was with it being an ex-taxi, how many bags have been in and out of that boot? Don't know, don't know why I even think like that but you can see some of the handprints still on the car there. They are heavily etched in. They are not going to be easy to get out. And the corner of the roof, you can still see it there. But again, it is going to need wet sanded. The tyres and wheels came up beautifully. Um, so yeah, the headlights do need restored as well. But again, that's not for me to do. Uh, so yeah, all around, we'll do some before and after photographs, so there's the bonnet before it get cleaned and after it cleaned, you can see the swirl marks in it there, the wheels before and guess what, after, uh, and then we'll do one down the side of the car. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, if you haven't already, leave a like, subscribe and I will catch you all the next time, goodbye.